Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the Google Play Store on your Windows 11 laptop or desktop. Now, this will work with AMD, Intel, and even ARM CPUs, and it's actually pretty simple to do. With the release of Windows 11, Microsoft has also added something called Windows Subsystem for Android. We had the Windows Subsystem for Linux for a while now, but this is known as WSA. And in simple terms, what it allows you to do is run Android apps in Windows 11. Now, without any modification, it's a bit lackluster because all they really have is an Amazon App Store with, I'd say, about 35 apps. I think it might be 35 to 50 apps, like Subway Surfer, maybe even the Nook Reader. Nothing really great for Android over there yet, but with a few simple steps and a couple downloads, you can get Google Play up and running in Windows 11. So what I've done here is just install Among Us from the Google Play Store. It's already set up on this machine. This is powered by a Ryzen APU. It's the 5800U. I've also tested this on an Intel machine, and I can tell you that the Intel machines actually do perform a little better with Android. Unfortunately, while gaming with Android games on Windows 11, it's only going to be able to access OpenGL, so Vulkan is out of the question. Hopefully that's added down the road. Ryzen performance will be much better once that's added. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm running the Android version of Among Us in Windows 11. I've downloaded it from Google Play. Now there's a few things you need to know before we get started here. Not all apps and games are actually listed here. I can't get a hold of Call of Duty Mobile, but I can sideload it. And Genshin Impact is also not listed on this version of Google Play. I'm not exactly sure how they have this set up, but it's probably just detected that it's on an x86 CPU, therefore we can't download some of the apps that are incompatible with x86. But in the end, there's still thousands and thousands of Android apps and games that will be playable in Windows 11 with this setup here. So if you're ready to get Google Play installed on your Windows 11 machine, be it a desktop or a laptop, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. The first thing we need here is virtualization enabled on your PC. Now, 90% of the time from the factory, it will be enabled, but if it's not, you will have to search online, find your specific model, find out how to get into the BIOS and enable virtualization. Like I mentioned, 90% of the time it's already gonna be on, but in some cases that it's not, you will have to enable it from the BIOS. On my last AMD system that I installed Google Play on, I did have virtualization enabled, but I also had to enable it from within Windows 11, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So from the start menu here, we're gonna go to Control Panel. And you just need to make sure that this is enabled. We're gonna go to Programs. And from here, we're going to go to Turn Windows Features On or Off. From here, we need to find Virtual Machine Platform. And it could already be enabled for you, but if we scroll down a bit, we'll see it here. And for some reason, on this machine, it's not enabled. This has to be enabled for WSA to work. So we're going to choose that. OK. Once this is finished, it might prompt you to restart. So go ahead and restart your system, and then virtualization is totally enabled with Windows 11. Okay, so now that we have virtualization enabled on our machine, we need to turn on developer mode. Now this doesn't entail much, but we need to go to our start menu. We're gonna to go to settings, privacy and security, for developers, and we want to turn on developer mode. So we'll just turn this on, yes, and we're now in developer mode. So that's basically it for the settings we need to enable in Windows 10. Now it's time to download the packages. So in the description, I have links to three different files. We have ADB setup. This is 15 second ADB install, and this is gonna really help us out to enable Google Play. We have the kernel and the WSA package. All three of these are very important. Links for these are in the description. First thing we're gonna do is install this ADB package. We're just gonna extract it, open this up, and this is really quick. System wide, Y, enter, install ADB. We can also install those drivers if we want to. I would recommend it. We'll just install and finish. So we're done with the ADB setup. Now we're going to go back to our packages we downloaded and we're going to extract the WSA package. We're just going to right click, extract. So now that we have that extracted, we can place it somewhere safe. I'm gonna cut it, and I'm just gonna paste it right in my documents. That way I never lose it. I'm gonna paste it right over here. So we're gonna open up this WSA package, and right in here, here's all the files that we'll be installing. I'm gonna snap this over to the right-hand side. I'm gonna find the kernel we downloaded. 
And we want to place this kernel right in the WSA package that we extracted, right here in the root of that folder. Just make sure it's in the root and not in another folder inside of here. Now it's time to install everything. There's actually a couple ways to open up PowerShell within this folder here, but we're just going to snap to the right hand side and we're going to go to our start menu and just type in PowerShell. Windows PowerShell. We want to run this as administrator. So we're going to right click on it, run as administrator. Snap it to the left hand side just to make it easier to see. Now what we need to do is tell PowerShell to use this WSA package directory, the directory that we have, the one that we extracted and placed the kernel inside of. So we're going to copy this. From within PowerShell, we're going to type in CD. Control V will paste that directory in here. So mine was in users, documents, WSA package. That's the one we extracted and placed the kernel in. We're going to press enter. Now PowerShell is going to be using this directory. There's one command we need to input into PowerShell. It's listed in the description and on screen now. We can paste it or you can type it out manually. Press enter. And there we have it. We now have the Android subsystem running on Windows 11. So if we go to our start menu, you can see we'll now have the Windows subsystem for Android listed. We'll start this up. We need to turn on developer mode. Open up files and press continue. Give it a second for everything to initialize. And here it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and close down everything in the background. We're now actually running Android on our Windows 11 PC, but as you can see, there's not much going on here. Once we initialized everything, we will have some more options listed in our start menu, like Google Play. As long as you installed it correctly and you're able to get to this section right here in the Windows subsystem for Android, we will have Google Play listed. So we're going to open this up and there's a fix for this. If we click on sign in, it's not going to do anything at all. And that's why we installed that ADB package. So we're going to close these down. We're going to open up a file explorer, go to our main drive right here. This is a one terabyte drive in this thing. ADB. And from here, we're going to actually run ADB real quick just to get it initialized. And from within the ADB folder, we're just going to go to the search menu here and type in CMD. This is going to open up the command prompt inside of this folder for us. So we're already in the ADB directory. There's two commands we need to input here. First, we need to connect to our Android subsystem. So we're going to start this back up. We can find it right here, Windows subsystem for Android. Again, remember that developer mode should be enabled. And what we need to do is get our IP address for this subsystem. It's going to be listed right here under IP address. I'm going to minimize this. And now I'm going to go back to ADB and we're going to connect to the subsystem. So we're going to type in ADB connect and the IP address we just got. Yours is going to be different from mine. Once we have this typed in correctly, press enter. And we're now connected to our Android subsystem over ADB. We're going to type in ADB shell. SU. We're going to go super user with this. And finally, the last thing we need to put in here is listed on screen right now. Centen force space zero. Press enter. And there we have it. We can now sign into Google Play. So we'll shut all this down. We'll go back to our start menu. Find Google Play. When we click on it, you'll see that it's working. So all we need to do here is sign into Google Play now with a Google account. I'm going to go ahead and tell you again, with any of this, I never sign in with my main Google account. And I know I have a lot of apps purchased there, but I never know where all this information is going. So I use a secondary account here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and sign in. I'm going to agree to the terms of Google services. And there we have it. We now have Google Play installed on our Windows 11 PC. So real quick, let's just find a simple app to download. I'll go with uh, IDA64 here. Something quick to download. We'll install it. We can open it from here, or it's going to be listed in our recommended section from our start menu. So I just installed IDA64. This is the Google version. We open it up. We're running the Google version of IDA64. If we go to my system, showing up as a Google Pixel 5, 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4X. 
CPU, the CPU is a Ryzen 7 5800U because I'm on a small laptop here with a 5800U. Display, this is going to be your Android emulator OpenGL. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we do not have Vulkan support with this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can go through and find games that you want to download. Now, it really depends on the power of your system on what's going to run fine, what's not going to run great. And unfortunately, I did mention this at the beginning, but if we type up, let's say, Call of Duty Mobile, it's just not going to be listed here. You can always sideload it if you want to. Another one that I found that's not listed, Genshin Impact. So that's kind of a letdown, but these can be sideloaded. But other than that, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of apps that we can download for Android on Windows 11 through Google Play. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I really appreciate you watching and hope you have Google Play up and running on your Windows 11 machine. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.